Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Quickly, before this video starts, I just want to say, please subscribe and turn on the notifications, because, as we're speaking, I'm working on a very big end-of-the-season compilation, 2018-19 season. It's going to be me doing an overall review on the season and showing you my best bits from my vlogging of the 2018-19 season. So, before we start this video, go down there, subscribe, put notifications on. I don't want you to miss that. It's going to be a big video. But, yeah, let's get into this transfer talk video. Right guys, as you can see by the title, that is based on Mike Bahare. Um, it is to do with all the transfer rumours and roundups. I did do a video the other day about the retained list. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. That's to do with who Bilesy have let on a free, who's just gone and who we have offered new contracts to. But this video is about the main signing. Well, there's two really. But one that's happened today is Mike Bahare, Bahare, however you want to pronounce it, he has signed a contract extension. He did sign from Hanover back at the start of the season, I do believe, and it was a one-year loan until the end of the season that's just finished. And he has done a contract extension. I don't know for how many years I, I read it, but I saw three, but I don't know if that's true, but I just know he's extending his contract. I also know the other week, Carly Woodrow, he's extended his contract by a couple of weeks. But I want to get into some couple of points about Bahare and Woodrow and give you my opinions on if their contract extensions were good, if they'll be beneficial to us in the championship or not. We'll get into that now. Firstly, we'll start with the mighty guy up front, Carly Woodrow. We all know he's been a force to be reckoned with this season. As you guys know, he missed the first couple of months, I do believe, through injury. But as soon as he came back, he was on fire, he had a bit of a dodgy patch midway through the second half of the season and then he starts going again towards the end of the season. So yeah, he's extended his contract, um, very good signing, extension. We've now got the big man Kiefer Moore back and Woodrow up front. I do believe we do need another striker overall, but the extension is good for Woodrow. He scored over, I can't remember how many goals, I think it was 17, either in the league or overall, I'm not sure. Joint with Kiefer Moore, either 17 or 19, I can't remember, but yeah, he bagged quite a few. And yeah, great signing. He's really, such a good player. He came from Fulham, I do believe. We didn't really know much about him. We'd been on loan to a couple of clubs like Burton, and he was also at another lower league club, I can't remember where. He scored a few goals here and there, but he never really bagged loads of goals anywhere, I don't believe. But from all the Fulham fans, when we first signed him, they were all praising him from what they've seen in, in, in like, the academy and in the like reserve game or like the cup games where he's played a couple for Fulham. But yeah, he's a great player. Um, it was perfect because once we, was, once we lost Bradshaw, it's like the club already had that replacement lined up. Like for like strikers, I'd say... Very similar strikers, small, quick, good at finishing, Bradshaw good at finishing, but yeah, like for like strikers in my opinion, so that is a great signing, and the next one obviously is the main one, Mike Bahare, who was signed, he first came with Stendhal, he is Stendhal's mate, German buddy from Hanover, um, one of the main reasons why, well, two main reasons why I believe Bahat Barre has signed an extension is obviously because his mate Stendhal's here and some of the backroom staff have also come from Hanover as well. But also Hanover have been relegated from the Bundesliga top division and they're now going to the Bundesliga second division, whatever that's called. I think it's just Bundesliga too. But they've been relegated, so that will also obsuade his mind to sign the contract extension. And with us getting promoted, it's into the second tier. So either way, you're going to be in the second tier. But if I had to guess, I'd say the championship is more competitive than the second tier of the Bundesliga. So yeah, I'm happy with him. He had his good games. He had his bad games. Some games he'd start well. Some games he'd be better off the bench. But we all call him Magic Mike. Silky with his feet. Gets stuck in a gap. He can find a way out of it. So yeah, great signing in my opinion. Keep him. We've just got to keep all the lads we've got. Try get Dave to sign back up. I know we've lost a couple on three, like Isgrove, Jackson, and another one, which I forgot, Zeki Friars, but they have. They played this season, so no first team has really gone. The only first team I could see leaving anytime soon is Davis, because obviously he's out of contract. Sidings-wise, 
There's a good chance we could lose one of our centre backs out of Moore and Pinnock. And there's a good chance more, more linked with a few people. And you've got Mowat and McGee and anyone on, our, anyone on our team could get picked up. They've had such a good season, so all the teams are going to recognise them. Swansea just lost the boss to Brighton as they sat Chris Hooten. So, Stendhal's third favourites on the bookies to go for Swansea job, so we'll see. But yeah, Woodrow and Bahar at Barre on the contract extensions. Great bit of business in my opinion. Keep them on board for the next couple of years, see how we go. And I'm happy with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like I say, this might be the last video until that big 2018-19 compilation. Once that video is over, I think... Because that's going to be like an end-of-the-season roundup and compilation. I think it's just going to be pure concentrating on the next season now. Talking about roundups, predictions, championship, championship-based content. So if you do spot a championship team... Uh, make sure you subscribe and even if you spot a league one team you've been watching this season say subscribe even if your team's not in our league and you're still in league one or you've gone down to league two all supporters appreciate it so yeah that's this video concluded thank you for watching stay tuned for that video it's going to be a good one might be a bit long but i'm going to try my best to make it as good as possible i've been spent a couple of hours on it editing already and i'm not even halfway through so yeah subscribe like all that good stuff thank you for watching i'll see you soon